Hello and welcome to What If League. Today I am doing an experiment where Arsenal have sacked their current manager Arsene Wenger and uh, they hire Leonardo Jardim, who in reality is currently managing the French Monaco. This is the second variance uh, of a similar experiment. Uh, previously, in the in the last few days, I have also uploaded another video where uh, Thomas Tuchel, the ex Borussia Dortmund manager, has replaced Arsene Wenger. Uh, since uh, there could be some problems with uh, Tuchel actually managing Arsenal because of uh, other stuff at the Emirates, I decided to go uh, another way and see what happened. Uh, maybe in the future I'm actually going to do comparison between the two and see how they perform head to head. So for the time being, uh, here is we see uh, the overview of Arsenal. Leonardo Jardim is uh, at their helm. The day is 22nd of January 2018. And uh, now I'm going to fast forward until the end of this season to see how did they perform. Here we are at the end of the season, uh, we see that Manchester City were champions as expected and Arsenal managed to qualify for the Champions League after jumping above Liverpool and Tottenham and they are now in 4th place, only 1 point behind 2nd, 3rd uh, place Manchester United, so very impressive. Very impressive start for Leonardo Jardim in his career at the Emirates. Let's see the fixtures here and uh, what happened in the meantime. So let's see, uh, in the FA Cup they lost to Bournemouth in the fourth round, so they were out of that tournament. Uh, they are auto also out of the uh, League Cup after losing to Tottenham uh, in two legs. In the Euro Cup, let's see what where they managed to go. They went to the final where they lost it to Juventus, unfortunately. So a very, very good season for Leonardo Jardim uh, in charge of Arsenal. Let's also see the tactic screen, what is happening here. No real changes, like I said, playing up front with uh, Welbeck and Mkhitaryan on the two wings. Mesut Uzil in the number 10 position with Jaka and Ramsey in the middle of the field. The back four consists of Monreal, Koscioni, Mertesaken and uh, Bejerin. No real surprises there, they are playing ahead of uh, the everlasting Petr Cech. Let's also have a quick look at the transfers and uh, see if there were any, any purchases. No, no ins, no outs so far. And I imagine Jardim is also uh, taking his time to assess the squad before starting to splurge the cash. Now, in, before I close this, uh, this uh, part one of this experiment, I want to also see what happens in the next three years. So I'm going to fast forward and I'll be back in a second. All right, we are now at year 2021 and uh, first let's start with the Premier League and see how did Arsenal perform. First season they managed to qualify for Champions League after finishing fourth. Second season they are runners-up after losing the title to their North London uh, neighbours Tottenham. So this was probably a very bittersweet uh, finish of the season. Uh, I'm sure that they would appreciate finishing second behind any other team, but not Tottenham, unfortunately, but uh, this is what the game decided. In the third season, Chelsea were crowned champions. Arsenal fell down to fourth place again, but uh, what is even better is Tottenham were fifth that year, so probably Arsenal fans would go are going to appreciate that. And in the final season, Arsenal finishing fourth again. Manchester City, Manchester United and Tottenham consist the other uh, teams in the top four with Manchester City winning the title. Let's also have a look at the cup competitions and see uh, maybe there were some uh, trophies there. Manchester United, Southampton, Chelsea and Tottenham won the FA Cup in the last four seasons. Let's see the League Cup, defending champions Arsenal. So there is at least one trophy for Leonardo Jardim here. We see that uh, he won the League Cup in the final season. Tottenham won the uh, League Cup uh, here, so I think the Tottenham have two trophies and uh, a league win. Very impressive from Pochettino, I imagine. Yeah, he has not been fired. Let's have a look at the Arsenal squad to see what is happening at the moment. They are now playing with two strikers, Welbeck and Mkhitaryan. Very interesting, Mkhitaryan is playing as an advanced striker, Mesut Yuzil, and uh, Adnan Januzaj has been purchased from Real Sociedad. Very interesting. Let's have a look. 34 millions and he's performing not bad, although he took a lot of time to get into uh, into good form. Going back to the tactics screen, we see that uh, Guillermo Arana is a new face in, in left fullback and Gianluigi Donnarumma is playing as goalkeeper replacing Petr Cech. Very, very impressive here. We can also see Luke Shaw in the reserve, so let's go to the transfer history and see who did Jardim buy. In his first full season, he purchased Adnan Januzaj and Seko Fufana selling Matteo Debussy and Carl Jenkinson to Dynamo Kiev and Wolverhampton respectively. 
Next season, he bought Lucas Torreira from Sampdoria, the defensive midfielder, and sold Emiliano Martinez. Uh, he is uh, one of the reserve goalkeepers at Arsenal, as well as Mohamed Elneny, who is now playing for Red Bull Leipzig. Lucas has been sold to Shakhtar Donetsk. And in the final year so far, the, the transfers were Gianluigi Donnarumma, Luke Shaw on a free. I, I need to see what happened here. Probably United did not play him enough. And indeed, this is the story. He was not a, a starter. That's why he decided not to renew his contract. Or maybe Manchester United decided not to offer such. Davide Calabria, Roberto Gagliardini and Guillermo Arana have also been purchased and the total uh, amount spent this season was £102 million. On the other side, we can see that Hector Bering has been sold to PSG for a staggering £126 million, which is practically negating all of the uh, incoming spent. Next, let's have a look at the European competitions and see uh, who won the two European um, Cups, the Europa League and the Champions League in these four seasons. Starting with the Europa League, we can see that Arsenal qualified for this uh, competition's final in their first time of asking with Leonardo Jardim at their helm. Unfortunately, they lost the final to Juventus 2-1. Arsenal managed to beat Villarreal, Red Bull Leipzig and Spartak Moscow on their way to the final, while Juventus qualified after defeating uh, Jardim's uh, previous team Monaco, and before that uh, the Dutch Ajax and uh, the German Kjoln on their way to the trophy. In the next season, Sevilla were crowned champions of the Europa League after defeating Lazio in the final. They also defeated their Spanish compatriots Valencia, English uh, Liverpool on penalties and another Spanish team Villarreal in the second knockout round. Next year, Roma were champions after beating Chelsea in the final on penalties. Roma also defeated another English team, Tottenham, in the semis on away goals, the German Kjoln in the quarters and the Turkish Galatasaray in the second knockout round. And in the last season, uh, the Italian Milan has been crowned champions of the second most important European competition after defeating Valencia after extra time 2-2-1. Milan also uh, managed to eliminate Lyon, Napoli and uh, the Portuguese Braga on their way to the trophy. Moving up to the Champions League, we see that uh, in the first season Manchester United were champions in an all-English final beating Chelsea in that final. Manchester United also eliminated Bayern Munich, Real Madrid and Dortmund to get to this uh, game. In the next season, Real Madrid were champions of Europe for, I think this would be their 11th title, uh, beating Juventus in the final. They also defeated Paris Saint-Germain, Inter Milan and AC Milan on their way to the final. Third season, Arsenal with Leonardo Jardim are champions of European uh, top uh, level competition, the Champions League, after beating Real Madrid on, in the final 1 to nothing. Arsenal also defeated uh, Liverpool in an all English semi final, Bayern München in the quarters, and Barcelona in the first knockout round. And in the last season so far, Chelsea, another English team, has been crowned champions of Europe after beating Paris Saint Germain uh, in extra time 1 to nothing. Chelsea qualified for that game after crushing Manchester City in the semi-final with a 7-1 on aggregate victory. They also defeated uh, Real Madrid on away goals and uh, the Ukrainian Dynamo Kiev. Now before I uh, finish this uh, part uh, one of this experiment, I want to also see the Ballon d'Or awards and who won them. No surprises there, Lionel Messi is dominating in all three years so far. So uh, with, with that, we can see that Leonardo Jardim managed to bring uh, a lot of success to, uh, to Arsenal. Actually, a lot more success than Wenger managed to do in the last few years. Um, I am going to continue uh, with this experiment in the future, so you can expect part two with the next three years. Please uh, make sure to like uh, this video and subscribe, follow my channel to receive notifications for when I upload uh, new videos. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think about this experiment and if you would like me to do something uh, on your request. Thank you everybody for watching. Until the next time. Bye.